All right, all right. Over here with the DeLorean, stainless steel DeLorean behind me here in my garage. Just missing a bookshelf, right? Anyway, topic for tonight's coaching video is painful one. It is how thirsty betas and all of those beta orbiters out there have basically ruined it for the rest of us, okay? Basically, these guys are solely, and I'm not even kidding when I say this, solely 100% responsible for the entire generation of self-entitled, self-centered, narcissistic females out there with exploded egos walking around out there thinking they are a lot hotter than what their actual realistic sexual marketplace value is okay and uh, this is where we've gotten the term 49ers where you get fours acting like nines right this is something that we used to use at the clubs back when i used to do game at the clubs and uh, we used to call certain chicks 49ers, right? We have fours walking in there acting like nines. Because she was surrounded by so many horny guys, like her social value, she would think like her social value was through the roof. So then she would start acting like a nine. And then after the club would let out, about like 2 a.m. in the morning, club let out and she'd just walk out there and then she's back to like, uh, you know, she'd turn back into a pumpkin right into a normal person and she'd just be ignored all over again but in the club she acted like a nine that's where we got that term 49er okay and this only used to happen in the club now it's happening in everyday life it's happening out there 24 7 365 days a year you got tons of fours walking around out there acting like nines why all because of those thirsty betas and those orbiters that she has just plastering her social media just dropping likes, comments, emojis like there is no tomorrow. Just totally blowing up her sense of social value through the roof. Making her believe that she's this like drop dead 9 or 10 when realistically, realistically she might be a 4 or 5. If we're being generous, maybe a 6. These thirsty betas out there and these orbiters and you might have been one too before you found the red pill right you might have been one too just dropping tons of comments on your crush on some girl you might have liked maybe she wasn't even that cute she wasn't a dime piece she was just kind of cute right maybe she was a six or a seven just cute face maybe a little few pounds overweight and now she's walking around thinking she's an 11 because of comments like yours and beta orbiters out there just like oh my gosh ooh, you're you're gorgeous Oh, you're stunning. You know, when realistically, it's like, ah, a few pounds overweight, you're cute. I mean, yeah, I mean, there's tons of cute girls out there. Big deal, right? Instead of giving her that. And not only on social media is this happening, but it's also happening on every single dating app out there. This is why I don't use dating apps, guys. Dating apps to me are worse than clubs. The odds are worse than clubs. And if you go to a club, I mean, the odds are pretty bad. Unless you have like, like some serious game or a lot of experience doing pickup and doing gaming clubs. I started my career in clubs, so it's kind of like a second home for me. Make no mistake, man, that's like the hardest place to game. But you know what's even harder than that? Dating apps. Dating apps, right? Tinder, Bumble, Plenty of Fish. What are some other ones, guys? Right? Zeusk. I don't know if they're still around. Match? Is Match still around? These dating apps, I mean, these girls could be a two in looks. And she'll have guys who look like chads messaging her. And what kind of reality are you living in where that happens? Here's the thing, though. Those chads that are messaging that chick, I mean, those guys really, we as guys know, these, those dudes are just horny. And some of these guys have no standards, even though they're, they look pretty attractive as, as males, right? They might look like models. Some of these guys, they have no standards. They're just horny. They're just horny. Just want to get laid and they know like they could get laid. It's not working. Wait, wait, like that, okay? They could get laid like that with one of these twos or threes or fours. 
and they won't have to put a whole lot of investment into it. They won't have to be taking her out to date. They won't have to make her their girlfriend or any shit like that. Says, oh, I'm just gonna hop in the sack with this chick. And they'll just do it. Meanwhile, that chick, even though, like deep down, she knows this guy's just gonna have sex with her and take off, right? For her, it's like a badge of honor. She's like, oh, look at me. Maybe I'm not a four after all. Maybe I'm like a nine. Maybe 9.5, I think. I, yeah, it's okay. I'm like 130 pounds overweight. That's not bad. That's like average today. I'm just going to put on my profile. Uh, curvy. Curvy. Right? I don't even think they call it curvy. They call it like average, right? That's That ain't average, man. That's so beast, dude. So a lot of these girls, the reason why their heads have exploded is because of these thirsty betas out there just constantly pumping up their sense of value right just really really diluting them into believing that their their social value is much higher than it is and you know it's really sad because i i mean there's some girls that i dated in the past that i mean are well past the wall now right i mean i got them when they were younger in their 20s and now they're well past the wall and thanks to all these beta orbiters they think their social value is still sky high and a lot of these chicks have not settled down. They haven't cashed in their chips because they think they could still get, go out there and bag one of these like high value alpha chads with a good job, seven figures, six, seven figures, right? They still think they could pull that off when in reality, it's like, no, these guys are just gonna use you for sex and take off. If you wanna bag this guy as relationship material and you want him to stick around, guess what? You need to do that before 30. You need to do that in your 20s. That's when that guy will see like, oh, yeah, there's a good, you know, fair transactional value here. But when you're doing that in your 40s, late 30s or anything like that, he's just going to see you as an object like, oh, yeah, I'm just going to have sex with this girl and uh, I don't want anything from her. You know why? Because he could get the 21 year olds. So he's like, no, oh, why should I invest in this chick? You know? So, yeah, sadly, um, a lot of these girls sense of value has um, totally, totally uh, falsely exploded over the last few years and you know what there's a silver lining at the end of this gentlemen because i really believe what goes up must come down it's murphy's law right murphy's law it's like when the stock market took off in the early 2000s i know because i lost everything in the dot-com bus you had all these internet companies just totally have these inflated over inflated values they weren't making any money most of these companies were negative yet they were valued much higher than their actual worth, right? Some of them 10, 20, 30 times higher their actual worth. And people like myself were investing in them. It was all good for a few years. People were becoming millionaires. And just like that, it seemed like it happened overnight. All of a sudden, the rug got pulled out from underneath these stocks. People realized these stocks were overinflated. These companies weren't making money. They had shitty products. They were duds and people jumped ship and the values of these companies dropped like a rock overnight and people lost their shirts. I saw people who were like millionaires one day and then the next day they were going back to their substitute teaching job. Literally, I mean, that was a true story. It was a friend of mine. Got into the millions in the stock market and then it seemed like overnight he was looking for a substitute teaching job again. I'm like, no, he had a, he bought a Porsche at this time and everything. And I'm like, you got to sell the Porsche. He's like, yeah, I got to sell the Porsche. <laughs> yeah. I felt so bad for him. But again, I mean, even when those times were happening and the stocks were going up and up and up and it seemed like there was no ceiling. Um, sure enough, there was, uh, again, it's just Murphy's law. What goes up must come down. And right now, Women's egos are like, I can't even fit on the, fit it on the screen, guys. It's like all the way up here, way up there, okay? Way up there. And at some point, very, very soon, they're gonna come crashing right back down to earth. I could see what's gonna happen in the future, especially with AI and just where everything's headed. Um, I see that things are gonna kind of um, just come back to more balance, right? Yeah, they're going to come back to more balance because before social media, before dating apps, before mainstream internet, girls, females, women, they had more of a uh, realistic, a realistic understanding of how attractive they were or how attractive they were not. 
okay? They had a more realistic understanding of what their sexual marketplace value is versus what they wanted it to be. Whereas today, it's completely reversed, where these girls, like, don't even want to know what their actual SMV value is. They rather just keep their head in the clouds because they have all these beta orbiters and, you know, these thirsty dudes all around the world constantly just pumping up their egos because I've never seen guys more desperate in my life. That's another thing. It's like the more these girls have their egos pumped up thinking they could get those model looking chads, those high value chads, the more they ignore guys who are realistically on their level that they should be dating. Instead, they wait for the chad, right? And really the only time they'll get the chad is when the chad's horny. Other than that, these chicks will wait around. They're not gonna bother with the average guys that they would otherwise be giving a chance to because they would be like, oh, okay, this guy is more on my level, right? They would give that guy a chance. Whereas these days, thanks to dating apps, thanks to social media, smartphones, these girls are like, nope, nope, got a thousand likes from a thousand strangers, you know, and little do these girls know that these are like the lowest totem pole type of guys who are pumping up their egos. These are like the lowest value guys that you are falsely bullshitting yourself to believe that you are much bigger and much more attractive than what you actually are. And that's not a put down. I'm not saying that, you know, if you're watching this, don't take offense to that. I'm not calling you ugly or fat or anything like that. I'm just saying that for most females, your perception of how attractive you are has ballooned beyond <laughs> beyond what is actually realistic. Okay, that's the best way I can put it. Thanks to these lower tier males, right? And they're all lower tier because high value males, the guys that you actually want, the guys that you girls actually want are not liking your photos. They're not dropping all these orbiter comments, you know, pumping up your uh, your followers, you know, where you're getting thousands of likes every time you upload a selfie. No, these guys, the, those aren't high value guys liking it. Those are those low value guys who are watching internet porn all night. Like as soon as they come home from work, got the pants down, got the laptop in their lap. Those are those guys, right? They're probably like 40 year old virgins, incels, never been laid or barely get laid. Sometimes they have just like flat out pay for sex. I mean, really, it's those guys. You know, those guys you ignore at the grocery store where you're like, oh, ew, gross, gross, right? That might like look at you real quick and you're like, ew. Okay, that's the guy you're allowing to pump up your ego and, you know, make you feel like you're all like this gorgeous like princess. It's that guy, the guy that you're grossed out by. Uh, you've got thousands upon thousands of those type of guys, lower tier males that are liking your photos and dropping these like comments and pumping up your ego. So yeah, let's be honest here, let's be honest. This is the state we're at now. Uh, it's all thanks to these thirsty betas and uh, these orbiters all around the world that 24 seven, 365 days a year, like clockwork, are on these dating apps, uh, on social media, constantly just <laughs> showering these chicks with endless amounts of affection, compliments, and false praise. It feels like the entire world has become one big nightclub full of 49ers, just totally acting like they're, you know, they're the shit. You know, and just pissing on guys like they're the shit. And really, this chick's like a five at best, right? It's like 75 pounds overweight. I'm not even kidding. I've seen girls walk around like this that are like literally f like a five in looks. 75 to 100 pounds overweight. I kid you not. Acting like they are a drop dead gorgeous dime piece. And you know what? They didn't come to this conclusion overnight. It's you thirsty betas out there. You orbiters who have pumped up this girl's head pumped up her ego to the point where it's so inflated that she actually believes this lie. She's participating in this bullshit lie with you, thinking that she is just this like supermodel. When in reality, you know what? She's a five that's 
like really overweight and needs to lose, you know, I mean, for her own health, needs to drop like 75 to 100 pounds. So these type of girls are ignoring guys that are actually on their level who would also be maybe a five in looks, maybe a six at best, right? He's not going to be in the best shape, might have a little pot belly, might not even have the best job. If your look scale is at that level, that's realistically what you would have gotten, you know, say like 10, 20 years ago before like mainstream internet, definitely before like social media really went mainstream, before Tinder. <sighs> Yeah, a lot of these apps uh, and social media have really damaged females, uh, unfortunately. They've damaged not only females, but relationships. And uh, really at the core of this, again, are those betas and those orbiters. So thirsty betas and those orbiters, beta orbiters, around the world who keep telling these girls that they're a lot more gorgeous, beautiful, and attractive than what they actually are. Okay, and I'm going beyond personality. I'm just focusing entirely on um, physicality here. So, I'm going to wrap up here. Until next time, this is M from The 33 Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Do it for the DeLorean. Smash that like button below for the DeLorean. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, Please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Helps me out a ton when you subscribe, so please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay? Helps me out with the YouTube algorithm because they're definitely not helping me anymore. Uh, I need your help. So subscribe to my channel. Share my videos with your buddies. And for you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content even further, stainless steel pill content, the best way to do that is by jumping into my monthly online coaching program, Seven Months to Mastery, where I'm teaching guys just like you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest, hottest, and most beautiful looking women on the planet. I'm talking about eights, nines, and tens, the same exact type of women that myself and all of my coaching students all over the world are out there approaching and closing every single day, every single week, no matter what type of racial divisions going on in the world, no matter what type of virus is going on in the world, we are out there making things happen 24 seven, just living our lives and having fun and taking no prisoners. And I want you to be a part of that, okay? Life is short, I want you to be part of it. I want you to learn how to do it. And right now the first month is only a buck, for the entire first month of coaching lessons in seven months to mastery, which is a very, very, very valuable program. I highly recommend you join. It's only $1 for the entire first month of content. So take advantage of it and it only takes two seconds to sign up. All you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. Just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.